Hello, everyone, and welcome to the wrap up video for the 2020 MATC Scholars Program. My name is Gabriel Bruyer. I'm the Education and Outreach Coordinator at the Mid America Transportation Center at the University of Nebraska Lincoln. And in this brief wrap up video, we'll just give an overview of the videos that we've talked about, as well as acknowledge all the people who have contributed to the success of the program. All right, so I'll pull up a familiar screen for you by now. So just to kind of complete the circle, um, the goal of the MATC Scholars Program is to provide an overview and advice to tribal and community college students who are considering transferring to a four-year degree granting institution upon the completion of their current two-year program. The program provides seminars, panels, and workshops that inform and inspire Native American students on their educational journey. And to meet that goal, we put together a series of videos, um, which I've classified as interview videos and overview videos. So for our interview videos, uh, we, we had an interview with Riddell Nared in video four uh, for, about the admission process of transferring to a four-year institution and some of the things um, that, go, uh, that go into that process. And, and it was about UNL, but it would apply to other institutions as well. In video five, I interviewed Rebecca Schlichting, who is a professor of journalism at KU. Um, but she was currently at UNL at Vision Maker Media, and she talked about her experiences as a Native journalist, but also um, gave an overview of a, um, of a journalism major. So if you're interested in that, um, there's a lot of information there um, that was very interesting and new to me. Um, in the video 14, Sydney James, um, I interviewed her, and she was an undergraduate here um, in civil engineering. She took her bachelor's of science and is a current graduate student here at UNL, but has also participated in our MATC outreach programs over, over the course of the year. And she talked about those experiences but, and also um, the experience of uh, conducting graduate research on the reservation. For the overview videos, um, there's, we had two types of degree um, in video six, Dr. Chris Cornelius talked about, um, or talk, went over different areas in engineering and talked about what uh, one might study if they pursued those different paths. And in video 13, I uh, talked about humanities degrees and I gave an overview of a number of different humanities degrees with a particular focus on philosophy because that's what uh, my experience is, is in. And I have the most, um, I can talk at length about that one. Um, of services, programs, and strategies. In video two, um, it was Dr. Chris Cornelius again talking about the strategy of choosing a type of degree like a Bachelor of Science, a Bachelor of Art, based on your, your interests and the kind of future that you project uh, yourself uh, for yourself. In video three, uh, Carmen Kelly talked about um, the um, requirements for Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science in the process of um, entering a degree program, especially as a transfer student, as an incoming junior, and how that might look, the things that you would have to do um, in that. In video seven, Robert uh, Russell talked about strategies, uh, time management skills, um, and a lot of um, time management, but also a lot of different programs that you might take advantage of as a student on a four-year uh, campus, um, having to do with tutoring, um, mental health, uh, general health, uh, as well as student organizations. In video nine, it was me again, and I was talking about um, schools uh, in the area where you uh, that offer full tuition scholarship for Native American students. I talked about some strategies about starting as or getting all the general requirements completed at your current institution before um, transferring and then finally scholarships and uh, the, the scholarship application process with the emphasis on the uh, NCIA Standing Bear uh, Scholarship. And then finally in video 11, um, Regi Dr. Regina Iodate, uh, Aislinn Rookwood, Hannah Butler, and Mariah Abney talked about their 
um, educational experiences, but also talked about um, undergraduate research and how important that is to enrich your or re- enrich your undergraduate experience, but also to provide some training and experience for upcoming careers or graduate school, and then strategies for maintaining a good uh, disposition and mental health as you study. And so um, I'd like to thank, um, acknowledge and thank each one of our speakers that has contributed to our program. Um, As you can tell, there's a lot of information that goes into it and all their years of expertise and uh, practice have contributed to um, you know, that these excellent videos. And so we thank them so much for, uh, for their participation in the program. Um, so you've already um, seen in, in this next bit, um, you, you're kind of familiar with the speakers, but I'd like to also thank the MATC staff. Um, and you probably haven't seen too many of these faces. So that's why I'd like to uh, share my screen um, over here. Um, and thank our our director, Dr. Uh, Larry Roulette, uh, for his support during the program. And I believe he's shown up in some of the videos. Also, our program co- coordinator, Janet Reno, um, I believe she hosted uh, one while I was out of town. So thank you to both of them for all their support during the program. Our web developers, um, uh, Utkarsh Hardia and Karthik Reddy Pagia. Pagilla had done um, so much work with uh, the website, uh, uploading documents, uh, our application process, all of it. Uh, thank you to them for uh, making that uh, possible. And our uh, graphic design associate, Leah Urbang, um, huge thank you, Leah. All the videos that you've uh, watched have been edited, um, and all the graphics and everything like that uh, prepared by her, uploaded to uh, YouTube. So huge thank you to her and her and Madison uh, Schmidt, our editor, in the production of our program booklet and the um, the documents that we've used throughout the program. They do a great job making everything look so great. So thank you to them um, and thank you to the rest of the MATC um, team as well for your support and um the scholars program. Um, next on the list is our um, is the NICC staff. Uh, those faces should should be familiar to you. Um, you know, in particular, uh, Dawn, Troy, Crystal, uh, Christine, President Mike. We've worked with them um, throughout the course of the year to uh, plan the scholars program. And you know, we've worked, we've worked with them over the years as well for past scholars program and for future scholars program. Um, it's been uh, such a pleasure to work with all of them. And thank you so much for this wonderful partnership. And then our last but not least are our uh, program sponsors. And you probably see these at the end of the video, but I'll uh, give special attention to them now from the U.S. Department of Transportation and Union Union Pacific for sponsoring the 2020 MATC Scholars Program. So thank you so much for your support. You know, besides um, you know, besides all the people who have um, contributed to the program, um, we'd also like to offer and extend a huge thank you to you, the participants. Thank you so much. Um, throughout the years, um, we learn so much, and it always helps to improve the program. And this year is no exception um, from what I've read and what I've learned so far. And what I encourage you to contribute to the program uh, to let us know how we might make it better for uh, future participants, future students. So I want to thank you so much. And let me kind of do this so it's a little bit more personal. And I'd like to thank you so much because I know that, like I said, um, in previous years, we've been able to host the program in person and been able to interact on a person to person level. And there's just more, a lot more to that than the uh, digital version that we're presenting this year. So I know that, um, you know, the digital 
the digital interface has its own, you know, challenges. So I want to thank you so much for putting the time in and for persevering through the program. Um, I know there's screen fatigue. I know that, you know, that there's less of a connection. So I want to thank you so much for, for your time in the program. And related to that, I also want to remind you that the scholars program is an annual program and we've begun the process of planning for our 2021 um, in-person program. So uh, with everything that you've uh, learned that you've started to think about now, uh, I'd like to encourage you as you go forward to include um, the, the 2021 program um, in your whole plan because it strengthens um, what you've been working on. Um, and it also helps other students who might be uh, thinking about the same thing, um, you know, supporting them, but also, um, you know, just getting a new, uh, fresh wind in your sails. Um, if you're, you know, if your graduation date is still a couple years down the line, you know, the, the coming back to the scholars program and, and, and talking to everybody is just, is, is a very great experience. I've, I've had such a pleasure um, of it over the years. This year is a little bit different, but, you know, it's still, um, I've learned so much um, in this whole process. So um, yeah, I just, I'll keep talking. So I just want to thank you so much for uh, your participation. I look forward to, um, learning more about you throughout the course of, uh, of these videos. And I really hope to meet you in person in our future programs. Uh, so with that, it's a wrap for me. Um, thank you and um, yeah, goodbye.